Well, it looks like the island residents aren't going to be handing over their treasure anytime soon, when in all reality, I'll take whatever booty I want. But you guys should consider yourselves lucky that you've only got gold and no cheeks. Um, oh, okay, we're, we're getting a little bit swarmed here. When I made a butt joke, I didn't think I was going to be the one getting boned. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That game that can open on Optimus Prime twerking ghost splooge under the Ninja Turtles in slow motion. And most of you watching will think, yeah, I've seen that before, what else have you got? Well, not only do I have a whole bunch of never before seen, hilarious, broken and cursed custom units, but I've also got a custom campaign called the Seven Deadly Seeds. This is something that a lot of you guys have been requesting. You know, apparently it's got a bunch of great custom units in it. It's a bit of a challenge, so it should be really interesting. So we'll begin with a level called Driftwood and Floatsum. And I mean, I I've heard of ghost ships before, but never skeleton ships. Are they the same thing or close? Is it like the difference between a fart and a burp or should I be worried? Either way, I'm thinking this is the kind of situation where I want to have a lot of ranged units. Like, I don't want to leave the safety of my ship. I'm thinking they're going to crawl down their ship and then clamber across the beach and then try to climb up ours. But hopefully that entire time will have been raining down pain on them, maybe? I'm not really sure how effective a pointy stick is without flesh. Oh, the answer's super effective. <laughs> Good, so I guess that's why they don't have a pointy stick Pokemon. It would have a type advantage against everything. No, guys, don't jump overboard. Nobody has permission to go into the water. Okay, the guy on fire has permission to jump in the water, but the rest of you need to get back up on the ship. I would imagine they have a whole lot more skeletons than I had expected. <laughs> and I don't think they're gonna pull a Three Stooges on the ramp for long, so you guys might wanna start shooting faster, like, yesterday, possibly, or else you're gonna get one hell of a paddle, and maybe you're into that kind of thing, but I was sorta hoping for a warship, not a party boat. This is another one of those classic tab situations where I can't buy my units brains. Some of them are gonna jump overboard no matter what I do, but I can try to buy them time. Maybe I can put down a couple of birds on the beach and a few squires to rough things up. Like, I really just wanna have a battle going on land level so that we can fire down on it. Hopefully you guys are confident enough to just wait up there or at the very least use the ramps that's what they're there for. You shouldn't be jumping 20 feet and bonking your head before drowning. This is kind of working. This isn't working. No, the birds decided that the best distraction they could cause would be to drown themselves. I wanted their puffy pantaloons to dance around on the sand, but apparently that's asking a little bit too much. And once again, we're easily swarmed. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I, I, I need to buy somebody a brain. Do you think this is the kind of level that one really big, really dumb unit might be able to beat? Like, I I'm gonna try putting an elephant on our ship. And I know it's gonna be really confused, but so will the skeletons, because nobody should think that this will work. <laughs> Please don't barrel roll down the ramp. You got this, there we go. Uh, Okay, we're, we're, we're splitting up. They separated into two units. I did not see that coming. This might actually be a huge advantage for us because he's gonna keep hurling. Meanwhile, the elephant is uh, causing a distraction. Yeah, not enough of a distraction though because he caught an arrow right in the tits. Like, this is what happens when you don't have a seat belt on the back of your elephant. It's just a golden lawn chair. <laughs> Did not plan ahead at all. What, this is the perfect scenario for the clam jam. I never thought I would say that, but they should be able to easily overwhelm a bunch of skeletons. They have the right to be here. This is their ocean. As long as you guys can keep summoning more of them, then we should be fine. Please avoid getting hit with the fire arrows or jumping overboard. What did I say about fire arrows and jumping overboard? God damn it. I know that a flaming arrow to the dick means you might want to cool off, but still, I, I really need your summons right now. Just keep going. Keep them coming. Oh no, the paddling, the paddling, not again. Why is this so difficult? 
it's only the first level. Like, I really wouldn't have expected that I would need to appeal to a higher power already. Well, Zeus may be by himself, but he's gonna have a field day here. He loves it when units are stupid enough to line up for him, like a bunch of bowling pins with paddles. I would be willing to bet these guys won't even reach the beach. <laughs> Come on, Zeus, perfect. <laughs> exactly what I'm looking for. You're doing a great job. That being said, I don't know if the toga is fire resistant, so maybe don't get hit with any more flaming arrows. Okay, there you have it. <laughs> Praise Zeus. If anything, these skeletons got off easy. It would have been way worse if they were regular people. You get hit with lightning and then you shit yourself before your heart explodes. Well, it looks like the island residents aren't going to be handing over their treasure anytime soon, when in all reality, I'll take whatever booty I want. But you guys should consider yourselves lucky that you've only got gold and no cheeks. The king and his loyal entourage have come a long way to gather these resources for the royal coffers, so if you don't mind, they'll be taking them post-haste. <laughs> now, move out of the way, you rapscallions. There are always so many more of them than I expect. Just kind of flood out of the... Woodwork. Um, oh, okay, we're, we're getting a little bit swarmed here. When I made a butt joke, I didn't think I was gonna be the one getting boned. Grim, you're kind of a skeleton, right? Uh, I don't suppose you could teach these guys behind us a lesson. Either, you know, with your words or with your actions, both work for me. Can skeletons swim? I don't think they can drown. Oh, yeah, they've got like a, a captain skeleton. <laughs> or they had a captain skeleton. Who was going to explode? <laughs> yeah, that's what I noticed. The, they had like a kamikaze guy come out of nowhere last time. He just did a backflip right into the entourage. <laughs> Don't appreciate that at all. Uh, how's the lesson going, Grim? Goods? Great, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, your captain is dead. Look, look at me. I'm the captain now. I've been dismantling hordes of the undead for so long that I didn't think anything would surprise me anymore but I didn't expect to run into a big daddy on this beach. If I remember my Bioshock correctly, then the only things that should be effective against them are guns and plasmids. I mean, a flintlock pistol is like close enough to a gun, right? And then maybe Zeus is close enough to a plasmid? He shoots electricity from his hands, okay? <laughs> That's gotta do something. At the very least, slow them down? Did they really just punch the lightning away? No, no, oh, oh yeah, care, careful, they, they got the flankers, Zeus, oh, okay. Uh, I think they might be sticky, yeah, they're, they're sticky, they're gonna grab hold, and the lightning bolts are just wedging themselves between their tits. I guess the suit is insulated all of a sudden? I don't think they have many ranged units, so I might be able to get away with using a Void Monarch. Like, it's gonna be most of my army. Uh, I'm just gonna put down a couple of exiled sentinels to delay the kamikazes, but other than that, it's all on you, Mr. Monarch. Really need you to transform and rip everything apart? Is that asking too much? I don't think so. You're used to dealing with the undead being rowdy. You're the lord of the underworld, and you're a melee unit's worst nightmare. You can uh, teleport your legs into the ground. Please don't do that again. I really don't need you breaking right now. You got these big, beautiful spikes. Yeah, that's a pile that I want to see. Wonderful. I honestly wasn't sure how I was going to be able to beat these things. They are shockingly strong. Come on now. Who's running around dressing up the skeletons? This is unacceptable. Like, they're, they're roaming undead, not puppies. You can't just throw boots on them and then laugh. Well, I don't have nearly enough money to use anything big and fancy this time around, so maybe we can get Heaven's Army on the case? Look, I, I would imagine they've got quite a bit of experience handling this kind of thing, you know, undead breakouts and so on and so forth, and something like that, and then maybe you guys can burn the skeletons. Listen, don't let me tell you what to do. It's like I said, you're the ones with experience, but at the same time, I don't think you can easily burn a skeleton. What? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Of course you can deflect projectiles. All right, well then I guess we're just gonna have to get somebody over here to fist the daddy. Something I didn't think I was gonna say today. Oh. Um. I don't know if my guy is dead. He probably wishes he was dead after a hit to the hole like that. Oh no, he's good! <laughs> 
and we won! <laughs> <laughs> That's really interesting though. So it turns out the big daddy is really strong against ranged units, but if you get up close, if you can melee it, then it falls pretty easily. Oh, this is really different. Okay, this is called a daring rescue, and I've never even thought of something like this in tabs before. So we've got a field full of the undead. As far as the eye can see, they're all over the map, and they're all converging onto a compound, which has a small army in it already, but more importantly, a VIP. We need to protect the navigator, except I can't place units around him. I have to start on the other side of the map. I need to run to his rescue. I think you guys already know that if you need to pick a unit to get somewhere fast, there's really only one choice. I have complete and total faith in that the cavalry will arrive on time. So long as these people don't run out into the field, like I can't control them, I didn't get to choose them or place them, so I'm just kind of hoping they have a general idea of what's happening and the cavalry can just kind of sprint around out there, cause a big old distraction. He's doing pretty good as a harpooner. Hasn't managed to harpoon anything in that wants to explode on him. That's the biggest thing. Um, That's not good. Is that an undead Uller? Is he chucking frost axes? Because I really don't, oh no, they're just ax axes. Okay, well then we might be able to deal with that. You can dodge. This is one of the strangest fights I've ever seen. He didn't even reach there. Uh, Oh, oh, that's not good. That's very not good. Uh, okay, well, we, we might want to back it up. Back it up into the compound. <laughs> oh, crap. No, Ooh, good dodge, great dodge. Kind of, maybe, possibly. Where did the horses go? <laughs> did they run off the map? I don't see any horse bodies. This sucks. I mean, he could try to hold out in these rocks. Wouldn't be the least bit surprised if the skeletons were too dumb to manage to figure out how to get up to him and are underhanding those axes. You can dodge projectiles by the looks of it. Can you actually pull this off, Navigator? I wrote it off the second I couldn't find the cavalry. Okay, yeah, so. <laughs> Wait, I can't use the horses. What can I use? Maybe the trick is to take control of one of them. <laughs> I am in control, right? I never know if I need to control the rider or the horse, but uh, uh, okay, no, the horse is gonna do its own thing. I am not in control of the horse. I am in control of the rider. Uh, can we maybe, like, it's just charging on its own. <laughs> so I get to use the weapons and, and the horse gets to do everything else. That's fine. This is going way better. <laughs> you know what you're doing. We, we just gotta, we gotta go after these guys. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the Chucky guys. Uh, uh, why are you doing kickflips, horse? <laughs> I just want to run around and hit things. Are we surviving? Yeah, we only take it half damage. That's fine. No, horse. Oh, you killed him. No, I can't, I can't accept that. No, I refuse to go down without a fight. You killed my friend, let go of my balls. There we go. Are we doing okay over here? He's still standing, we haven't lost. And it looks like we cleared out a whole lot of the enemy. Oh man, I didn't sign up to walk today. Even have a priest, yes, heal me. Or, or, or heal the navigator and me. Yeah, back and forth, a little of both. It worked flawlessly. Okay, I'm gonna dedicate this victory to Horse. It was all in his charging. He was completely selfless and only a little stupid. What did I say earlier about playing dress up with skeletons? Like, what am I supposed to expect from this thing? Of all the units in this game, they ban the cheerleader. Really? Like, I, I wanted to use a tornado here. I figured it'd be awesome at such close quarters that we'd have skeletons and bones flying all over the place, you know, off the cliff and stuff like that. But I guess it's just too good. Is there anything else that they didn't allow? Oh, the present elf. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. He is kind of bullshit. <laughs> anything else? No. They're letting me use the Gatling gun, huh? Okay. Yeah, I could see that working. I mean, we're gonna have to buy him time. It takes him a while to get going, but give him a couple of personal protectors, maybe some archers and Hopefully that goes our way. Oh, okay, one sneaks through right off the bat. That's why we got the protectors. <laughs> now, so long as he can get cranking, we should be able to mow them down. I don't care how good the big daddy is at deflecting stuff. <laughs> we got all the bullets in the world. <laughs> this is actually kind of working. I can't believe it. Usually I have to have a cheerleader to make you useful. 
come on, keep going. Keep going. They can't move forward. That's the biggest thing. I don't even care if you kill them right off the bat, but if you could just, like, push them back with your <laughs> extremely weak bullets, then everything is going our way. Oh, they're all stuck trying to deal with this idiot who's hiding. <laughs> it's a genius. That could not have been luckier. So, oh, oh, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Why, why are we traveling? Do they have an idiot that's stuck around here too? Oh no. Don't, don't go over the edge. Just shoot him. You can't aim down with this thing. It's on wheels, idiot. Come on. Somebody kill this guy, please. There we go. Oh, that's bad. That, that's bad. Uh, um, no, no. Okay, just, just, just hang out. Where did he go? Where did, no, 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 no. He's upside down. <laughs> Not like this. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I hate everything. This was a free win. We absolutely had this. How do you get yourself in this kind of situation? Oh my god, he hit him. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. I'm actually losing my voice. I wanted to continue playing. I've been yelling so much at all these stupid skeletons that I never even realized that the heat is getting to me. Like, I found a bunch of great custom units, like I said in the intro, that I wanted to take a look at. But I guess I'll just have to save them for another time. Honestly, which is probably a good thing. It means I have more content for Tab. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video. Leave a comment letting me know if you want to see a bunch of individual custom units in the sandbox or if you want to see me continue this campaign and then maybe I'll return to do the craziest Gatling gun trick shots ever again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.